Good morning, one and all. I am T. Gayatri, an associate professor from Department of EC at K. J. R. T. College of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to Microwave Engineering Web Sep Series. Today's topic is two cavity clistron. Now. Two cavity clistron is a part of clistron which comes under O type uh, microwave tubes. Microwave tubes are of two types O type and M type. Under O type microwave tubes, the O type tubes are also called as linear tubes or rectilinear tubes. Clistron is an example for a O type tube. The two cavity clistron has an electron gun. There are two cavities. The input cavity, which is called as a buncher cavity. This is the input cavity called buncher cavity. The another cavity is a This cavity is a catcher cavity. And this part is a collector. The uh, electron gun is this part has which will monitor these electrons. The electron gun is excited with negative terminal of a battery. The collector is given positive terminal of the battery. This is the cathode part of the clistron tube and this is the anode part of clistron tube. This gap is the gap A. And this gap is gap B. So, the electrons will flow the RF in through the buncher cavity. They will interact with the electron beam in the gap A and here bunching takes place. Here, bunching takes place for the number of times, then the RF input is taken out. So, we collect the RF output here and as usual, the electrons are collected by this collector since the collector is given to the positive terminal of the battery. The safe, the space between the buncher cavity and the catcher cavity is called drift space and this is called bunching. Now I want to ask a question 
what is the principle of reflex clistron principle of reflex clistron the answer is velocity modulation velocity modulation is a principle of reflex clistron now i am explaining the operation of clistron the cathode is energized by the negative terminal of the battery then the cathode is energized by this negative terminal of the battery electron gun this part of the called electron gun now these are the two focusing electrodes we have two focusing electrodes which will monitor the stream of the electrons these focusing electrodes make the electrons move in a straight line now the rf input is given here at the buncher cavity which is the input cavity of the two cavity clistron the rf input will interact with this electron stream and then bunching takes place this is called bunching the principle of the reflex clistron is velocity modulation here the electron's velocity is varied depending upon the interaction of rf signal the rf signal will interact with this electron beam and then bunching will takes place multiple times after that amplified rf signal will go out through this catcher cavity the catcher cavity is the collector of the two cavity clistron now then after the rf input leaves the cavity the electrons will continue with the same velocity as the original velocity to the collector the collector is given to the positive terminal hence the collector will attract these electrons now the space between the buncher cavity and catcher cavity is called as drift space the interaction will happen between ga at gap a and gap b now this velocity modulation can be better explained by the apple gate diagram the apple gate diagram explains about the velocity modulation taking place in the electron this is the rf signal now we can take as an example three electrons early electron reference electron late electron the early electron is subjected to the negative rf input the reference electron is subjected with zero rf input the late electron is subjected with positive rf input because the rf signal is interacting with this electron velocity modulation takes the electron velocity changes let us explain how because the early electron is subject to rf input the electron will move slow we know that like charges because of this principle the electron move with slow velocity to the destination the velocity of the electron is v less than v not then when the reference electron meets with zero rf input then there is no change in the speed of the reference electron it moves with the rated voltage v is equal to v not now the late electron because it is subjected to the positive rf voltage 
electron is a negative charge and because of this positive energy it will move very fast to the destination with a speed way greater than v0 because of the rf signal interaction the electron velocity changes and then bunching takes place now this bunching can happen multiple times multiple times in this drift space until the rf signal enters the cavity and leaves from the cavity now after the rf signal leaves the cavity the electrons will continue with the original velocity of electrons and will be collected by the collector this is how the bunching takes place in the electron we can tell that v less than v not the early electron moves with v less than v not that is it will move slowly than the rated speed now reference electron is subjected to zero voltage that's why reference electron will move with v is equal to v not speed that is at original reference speed it will move that is at original speed the electron will move the move to the destination the late electron because it is subjected to the positive rf energy the late electron moves with the speed greater than the reference speed so it will move very fast anyhow all the three electrons will meet at same time and this is the bunching this is called as bunching thank you we'll meet in the next class